Okay, hello. Welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. I hope you guys all had a good couple of weeks. Oh my gosh, it feels like whenever I do that, take a week off, it feels like it's forever since I've done a Facebook Live. So if you could see the crafter math has actually already happened on my table and we haven't even started. Yay, Nikki. Hello. How are you? It's funny because I did a Facebook Live and Nikki, I think you popped on um, the other day on Tuesday, we had our group meeting um, down at the stamp studio, our expired stampers group meeting, and I accidentally jumped on to this Facebook group instead of our expired stampers Facebook group. And then I realized when Nikki was watching, I'm like, oh, I think I'm on the wrong group. So I apologize, Nikki, that I like shut it down. So it was it was fun to say hello to you though. Um, but that day, none of my comments were showing up. So I'm glad that I'm like, I'm seeing the, hey, Amy. So, hey, Nikki, thank you. Good, I appreciate you doing that too, so that I know because I don't know what happened the other day, why it didn't work, so. Anyway, but yeah, hopefully everybody's good. We were, hey Susie, how are you? And Rosa, yay, thanks for joining us. Hi guys. Um, we are at and Philomena. Hi guys, everybody's popping on. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so last weekend, <laughs> um, we were at Rhonda Wade's Creative Convention down in Lansing. My downline Sunday and I went down to this event and actually um, a couple of members of my Inkspired Sam Stampers team helped us put this fabulous display together. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the projects. I think I posted pictures, but I thought, oh, it'll be kind of fun to show you guys up close. Um, we um, were kind of, I guess I picked it, um, but Rhonda had contacted me and asked, could we do a display table at this event? Um, uh, let's see, oh, Facebook thing, oh. Oh, good. Oh, that's awesome. Nikki, thank you for letting me know that. I'm glad it's not like a problem today because I was going to be freaking out because then I'd be like trying to push the little buttons down there trying to figure out what did I do wrong. And <laughs> you know me, I'm not that good with that stuff. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so um, a bunch, well, not a bunch, but a number of my inspired stampers, we all put projects together using the wrapped in plaid suite. And it was a beautiful table and a beautiful spread. And I'm like, I felt super proud that we all like did our little part and everything all came together and because my biggest fear was like we weren't going to have enough to like cover the table and make it look good um, but I thought we did a great job with that too so I was very very happy um, plus the event was awesome the other display tables were beautiful I, sh I think I shared pictures I'll have to make sure I have a bunch of pictures um, let me know if you guys haven't seen some of the other displays now that I think about that maybe I just did ours because um, I was going to kind of, I always like to kind of spread things out and then I forget. <laughs> what did I do? What didn't I do? So I'll have to look back on that and I'll share some other things too. Although maybe what I'll do as product of the week comes up, I'll be able to share a bunch of those projects too. That might be what I was thinking now that I'm, <laughs> now that I'm remembering what the, what the game plan was in my brain. Um, so what else? Oh, thank you guys. I ha I just have to say thank you so much. I had a great birthday last Friday, so it was really fun. Um, I was kind of sad that I wasn't going to be able to see my kids. Like literally, um, I saw Lily in the morning before we left on Friday morning. And then like I was gone all day Friday, overnight, Friday night, and then for a good part of Saturday. So, hey, Marianne, how are you? So I, like I said, I was kind of sad that I wasn't going to be able to see my kids. Um, but then all the ladies at the event, they were, everyone was so sweet, wishing me happy birthday. A couple people knew ahead of time. So so they brought cards. So thank you, Miriam. So it was really, really sweet. And then um, others of you sent cards to me and I thought, I just want to show these and say thank you because you guys all do such beautiful work and it was so fun. It's always fun to get a card in the mail. So thank you guys. So this first card is from, let me make sure, yep, Maria Warren. And she is actually down um, in like Plymouth Canton area, which is not too far from me um, in Alma. And the fun thing is one of my very, very best friends from like middle school, high school actually lives down in that area too. So I have like kind of a fond um, part in my heart for that area of um, Michigan too, because I love to go down and see my friend Emily that's down there. But Maria, and I know you said, um, let's see that you're wondering about going to on stage. And yes, I am gonna be there. So if you're watching at any point, um, let me know. I would love to connect with you at on stage in Lansing in November. That would be very, very cool. So yeah, but did I show like, so look at that's the beautiful, this was that um, everything is rosy product medley that we had that was available kind of in, it was almost in between catalogs, like back in the springtime when everybody's kind of tired of the annual catalog. I thought that was fabulous that Stampin' Up! came up with that 
product medley. And you guys know about, there's a product medley in the holiday catalog too. Hey, Rosemary, I haven't even showed you guys. I'm gonna have to pull that out because we actually were given that at, um, um, on the cruise. And so I wanna, I gotta pull that out and start playing with that and show you guys some fun stuff. But this, that reminded me, this product medley reminded me of the product medley that's in the holiday catalog. So, and then here's another beautiful one. Look at, so this is um, Poppy Parade, um, the designer series paper from the Brights collection. And then that beautiful um, label framelit, I can't remember the name of it now, the banded, maybe it's banded labels, right? So very, very pretty. So this was from um, Wendy, who's in my Experience Neighbors group. So thank you, Wendy. And then let's see, this one was from my friend Cheryl. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I love, I still remember um, these tulips. They're retired, so I can't can't remember the name of them. It might have even been a host set, but beautiful, beautiful stamp set. The let's celebrate your day. So that was very sweet. She surprised me with that in the morning um, down in Lansing. And then this is a um, card from my friend Tyler Jordan, who loves to make cards and send them to demonstrators, I think all over the world. Um, he contacted me on Facebook. I haven't actually met Tyler, but thank you, Tyler. This was such a sweet card. Um, I really appreciate it. And I remember that little birdie too. I loved that little birdie. Um, so thank you, thank you. And then another look, so this is another beautiful one with another one of those banded label framelits. Those are beautiful right now, right? This was from my good friend, Melissa, who I do the weekend crafting retreat with. She was down at um, Creative Convention with us and she surprised me with that card. So thank you, Miss Melissa. And then this one is not a birthday card, but this is from my friend Heidi Sue who just moved. And you guys, this is like a totally interactive card. So you guys have to see this. So she put the little um, van on one of, it's like, um, it's got those pennies so you can kind of scroll it across. And I think it says, we've moved to so isn't that fun? The little van moves back and forth along there. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to ruin it. And then watch this. I think I have her, I'm trying to make sure. Yep, I have her address covered up. But look at, look at what happens on the inside. Oh my gosh, isn't that awesome? So you can kind of see from the side, like look at all of that. And can you guys see like all the little details, like the curtains, oh my goodness, the little mail slot thingy there. So isn't that so cute? The little um like, it's almost like, I don't know, are they like little brick pavers walking up to the house? So how about that all so she could tell us that she moved to a new house, which I knew about and I kept asking her for her address, but she was, I think, super excited to send this card so she wouldn't give it to me until <laughs> she made this card and sent it to me. So thank you, Heidi Sue, super duper cute. So thank you guys all, that was really just fun to get spoiled, as you guys all know, right? Get um, beautiful cards. And that's what this is all about. I think we all know and love and understand that. It was an amazing card, wasn't it, Marianne? Um, so yeah, make sure you don't just make cards, make sure you send them to people because it really makes people's days too. So I'm here to say for sure it does. So, okay, I gotta look at my notes. I have a whole list, you guys know me. Okay, so let's see what else. Um, oh, okay, so my one day, hey Liz, how are you? My one day retreat. I, um, well, I think my first problem was that I scheduled it on another, uh, well, on the same day as another super popular um, kind of one day crafting retreat. So my numbers are really pretty low, guys. And so I'm like basically pleading with people to come hang out with me at the one day retreat. It is an awesome, awesome day. So I just wanna tell you guys, actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you, first of all. So these are all the products that you are gonna get in your goodie bag. I wanna make sure that I have everything here. So, oh, and I'm gonna, so it's, I think I've been showing too, cause this is my absolute favorite suite of products. The Brightly Gleaming Suite, you guys can kind of see, right? This, this um, page right here alone totally caught my eye in the holiday catalog. So what I wanna show you, because you get a half a pack of, yep, half a pack of the Brightly Gleaming, so you're gonna get one of each of those beautiful sheets of designer series paper, okay? So yeah, here's my, Designer Series Paper, Brightly Gleaming, you're gonna get a half a pack of that. You are gonna get 
a full pack of, these are called the Brightly Gleaming Foil Elements. Ooh, look at that glare, right? So the beautiful bronze stars. You're gonna get a full bolt of the Pretty Peacock and Old Olive Reversible Ribbon on my absolute favorite. I love that ribbon. And then a full pack of the Star Designer Elements are all gonna be included in your goodie bag. So the cost of the retreat is $64 and like more than half of it is all with goodie bag stuff, right? So the other fun thing is we do make and takes. We have four make and takes that we make at the one day retreat. You're gonna use product from your goodie bag so you know they're gonna be beautiful, fabulous products because that brightly gleaming suite is beautiful and fabulous, right? Um, what else? I make cute treats for you and I just love to spoil you all day long. Um, basically, you just come, bring whatever you want to work on. Um, I feed you all day long too. So literally all you have to do is like roll in with your stuff, sit down and play all day long. Um, you know, other ladies are there. It's kind of fun to kind of walk around and like see what everybody else is doing and kind of share ideas. Um, I bring all of my supplies, all of my dyes, embossing folders, um, my die cutting embossing machine, I bring my punches and I bring my stamp sets. So you can use all of my stuff, any, everything that's not consumable basically. Um, so any of those products that you can use and use and use, you can use them as much as you want all day long at the retreat. So I'm basically begging you guys, please come hang out with me. I know I said the RSVP deadline was today, but I can keep it open through next Wednesday and still be able to get you all of your goodie bag stuff if you wanna come hang out with me. And the day, I guess I should mention that, it's Saturday, October 5th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma. And I also will say, if you know you totally cannot make it to the retreat, you can still get the fall retreat in a box, which is basically the exact same thing. It's just that you wouldn't be there with us for the day, but you're gonna get that exact same goodie bag. You get all the parts and pieces for the make and takes. I send you a PDF tutorial on how to put the cards together. I send you the cute treats. So it's really an awesome thing um, if you can't make it. Um, I would love, either way, if you can make it, that's super fabulous, but if you can't make it, do the retreat in a box and you'll get all this fun stuff to make at your own convenience in your own time, in your own home when you feel like it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. There are links on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and on our Facebook group. For more info, you can through, pay through PayPal, sign right up. It's super simple and easy. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to get you guys set up um, for either the actual day retreat on October 5th or the retreat in a box. Um, okay, and then after that, we have the weekend retreat that I mentioned. So my friend Melissa and I do a weekend retreat down in Lansing, and we are looking to fill that baby up. It's funny because she um, has been a demonstrator and kind of took some time off. She wasn't really doing too much with it. She basically was able to sustain her business just by doing the weekend retreats twice a year. She was able to kind of keep her demonstrator status up without doing classes or events or anything else. But now she's kind of, she's getting excited to get back into things. So she really wants to, like I said, fill this baby up. So if you have any interest in attending the weekend retreat, it's November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Same idea where we bring all of our stuff that you can play with, but this time you get to play with it all weekend long. Friday at 4 p.m. you can get there all day Saturday and all night as long as you want to stay up Friday night and Saturday night and then Sunday until two o'clock. We have make and takes, we have other classes, we feed you. It's just, it's another one of those fabulous, fabulous times. So I know I've had a few people say that they had questions or they're interested, so please let me know. Cause she's asking me, how many people do you have? And I'm like, oh, I wanna be able to tell her I have a whole bunch of people that are able. Hey, Tiffany, um, are you able? Do you wanna come to hang out with us at the uh, weekend retreat down in Lansing on November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd? I think maybe you said you're busy, but I'm like, like trying to get people to come hang out with us. Um, so yeah, let me know. One day retreat on October 5th, weekend retreat on November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Oh, the other thing to know for the weekend retreat, um, if you sign up and prepay by the end of the month, by September 30th, you get an extra treat in your goodie bag. So even more fabulous stuff. And that goodie bag, we are featuring the snowman. I think it's called Let It Snow Sweet. Um, that's what we're featuring in that. So I can give you details if you wanna know what exactly you're getting in the goodie bag. Um, I can share that with you too. Because you can always make substitutions. If you already have something in there or you want something else, that's not a big deal. So I like to be accommodating like that. I just want everybody to be happy and come and have fun and hang out with us. So, okay. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, okay. So quick reminder that um, designer series paper sale, the buy three packs of paper and get one free is going on for another couple of weeks. So again, through the end of the month, through September 30th, if you haven't taken advantage of that already, make sure you do that. There is more info on my blog. It's right on stampinup.com. If you go to designer series paper, it's actually probably the big banner that's even up there as the designer series paper sale. So it's all um, designer series paper in the annual catalog that is included in that sale. Again, buy three and get one free. So it's an awesome deal. They do it most every year and it's so fun to take advantage of it because the paper is beautiful. It's like the best part about what we do because then it helps you coordinate everything from there. So, um, okay, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, let me look, yeah. So I wanna give a quick shout out and congratulations. I had three Inkspired stampers that uh, made it to what's called Qualified Recruit. So they had $900 in sales since they bought the starter kit. So congratulations to Brenda Worley and Susie Meekumber and Diana Boone. They all just got to Qualified Recruit um, in either August or September. So very nicely done, ladies. The coolest part about that is they are halfway to uh, promoting to Bronze Elite, which is at $1,800 in sales, and then they get 25% off of all of their orders instead of just 20%. So that's an awesome, awesome um, thing to be striving for, because what's better, like 20% off, that's great, right? But 25% off, that's even better. So nicely done, ladies, congratulations. Um, what else? Oh, let's do, yeah, I think we're ready to do the drawing. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, drawing for, these were the, I'm gonna shake them around, I've got them in my little bag here, the Bird Ballad Trinkets. I'm gonna show you guys these again, because these are just beautiful. Um, and if you haven't seen them yet, so there are these, uh, uh, you can kind of, can you see them? Not really, yep, you gotta, you gotta open them up. So there are, I think there are four different ones, let's make sure, or are they three? No. There's a key also, oh, the key is so cute. I know I showed you guys this before, but I think they're so pretty. So four different, these are like little metal trinkets. So there's a little antique key. That's like a little kind of antique flower. This one I'm gonna hold like this because there's a little loop there. It's like a leaf, but can you see the little loops? You can tie some twine or something around it. And then a cute little, you can barely see that, right? Maybe if I move it, I don't know, over there. <laughs> Not over me, over the door. Um, a little bow. So I don't know, maybe 24, six of each of those four different ones are in that fun pack. So you got, let me make sure here, one entry for commenting anytime on Facebook Live, three entries if you shared the Facebook Live video. Um, let's see, if you joined my email list, you got three entries. My random draw day was Thursday. So if you posted any time on any of the Thursdays that happened since last Facebook Live, you got three entries into the drawing, or if you commented on anything I posted. And that's on both the group and the business page, or on YouTube as well. So lots and lots, because there were, yeah, lots of posts, um, lots of comments, lots of shares. So the winner is, Shaking these all around. We've got, yep, I've got one in my hand. Ah, Miss Diana Boone, congratulations. You are the winner of the Bird Ballad Trinkets. So I will get these sent out to you. Congratulations, that's awesome. Uh, okay, let me scoot those out of the way. So, you know, as I'm telling you all the ways that you can get entered into the drawing, like, I can barely remember all the ways you can get entered yourself. And I started thinking, you know what? Nobody else can remember all the ways you can get your name entered. So we are simplifying things. Basically, your name is gonna go into this drawing, into this cute little paper pumpkin bag, if you share the video. That's all you have to do, just share the video. Anytime you share, you're gonna get an entry into the drawing, okay? Um, and we'll do the drawing every single Friday, just like I always have, but that's just, we're just gonna keep it super simple. I still love to hear your comments. I love to hear what you guys think of what we're doing on the Facebook Live. I love for you to say hello, so just keep doing that. Don't stop doing that. Um, but yeah, sharing the video, get your name in the drawing, and let me show you. We are gonna give away a pack of the beautiful um, now I'm trying to remember what they're called. The Star Designer Elements. So those really, I'll turn them sideways because you can see a little bit better. Um, beautiful kind of a bronze star. They are gorgeous. Part of our retreat, and then you're also gonna get a pack if you win by sharing the video, okay? So that'll be on next Friday's Facebook Live. And I have to tell you too, I, well, I looked at the calendar, at least for the next like 
month and a half or so. Um, I think I should be able to do a Facebook Live every single Friday. So that's awesome because I've been missing it. I'd love to do it too. So yeah, I was just because I like this every other week thing's been kind of crazy lately. So I'm glad to be back. Okay, so now let me make sure my little thingy is empty. We are going to give away. What are we going to give away? Well, let me let me show you. I'm going to put the names. So I had a number, a couple of um, online orders. Um, yeah, they are beautiful, aren't they, Philomena? Um, online orders within the last, well, since the last Facebook Live. And your name went in the drawing to win this beautiful Twal Christmas stamp set. I love the beautiful banner. May your days be merry and bright is the first one. Christmas wishes. This, what did we say, is a cardinal, not a robin. I think I called it a robin last time I was on here. Um, this pretty little for you with love, and I'm going to read the sentiment to you. It, it says, may this season be filled with beautiful moments and happy memories for you and those you hold most dear. So beautiful sentiment, right? And then some very pretty imagery. And this is a beautiful suite. This twall Christmas Sweet was one of the displays that were done at Creative Convention last weekend, and it was beautiful. They actually wrapped, um, there's wrapping paper in there too, and so they wrapped it kind of on the backdrop that they put everything around. It was, it was gorgeous. They just did a really, really beautiful job with their display. So it made me like, I kind of, I only kind of liked this suite, and then when I saw that display, I was like, Ugh. It's beautiful, it's just, just beautiful. So we'll be playing with that shortly. So, okay, in the meantime, we are drawing here. The other thing, actually, before I do the drawing, let me mention, because I'm excited, I have these in my hand ahead of time. So you're, what, what, how did you get your name in the drawing for this one? Well, if you put an online order in of at least $30 and you use the host code, your name went in here. You're automatically gonna get the projects I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, and your name went in the drawing to win that 12 Christmas stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50, you are also automatically gonna get a pack of the beautiful Noble Peacock Rhinestones. I'm gonna turn them that way again so you guys can see them a little better. These are gorgeous, and they're actually, especially like the kind of the bluey, greeny colors, most of them, maybe maybe not so much the pink, but these are all gonna work really, really well with that brightly gleaming suite also. So um, they're not in the holiday catalog. These are actually part of the annual catalog. They were on back order, so I was trying to do them in August, and they finally came off back order, so now I can offer them as my free, and that's, um, the one caveat is whenever I announce, because I'm gonna try to do that going forward, I'm gonna let you know what you're gonna get with your $50 order. You always get the two Facebook Live cards. If you bump your order up to $50, you get the free embellishment, your name goes in the drawing. And hopefully, as long as like something that I announce doesn't go on back order, I may have to change it um, if I announce, you know, this is gonna be your gift for the month and then it goes on back order. That's a bummer to have to wait, so. I'll, I'll check in with you guys. We'll see. We'll worry about that as it happens. But um, I want to try to announce that in advance because I think that's kind of fun to know what you might get. So, okay, here we go. We're going to do this drawing. And make sure I have one name in my hand. And, oh, it's Miss Stacy Decker. All right, congratulations, Stacy. I will get the Twall Christmas stamp set sent out to you. It's beautiful, you are going to love it. Awesome, okay. And then she also actually ordered her $50, so she's also gonna get the Noble Peacock rhinestones too. Okay, all right, we're scooting that stuff out of the way. You know me, I gotta keep checking my notes, make sure that we have done everything I wanted to do. Oh, now, okay, so this week, as part of our product of the week, which was the Monster Bash Suite, I thought, let's give away something from that suite. So, this week, if you put an online order in, use the host code, it's on my blog always at gatheringinspiration.com, and then I'll share it with you guys in just a few minutes. But it's, this is like a twofer, right? So you're gonna actually get this beautiful black scalloped edge ribbon, and then this embossing folder, it's called the stylish scroll embossing folder. Maybe I'll put it right in front of my face. Um, beautiful. I'm going to show you guys some projects. So, okay, this was actually one of the make and takes, and I'll show you all this in just a little bit. But what I kind of wanted to show you was the ribbon more than anything, because you know what? 
that almost look like bat wings, <laughs> which you know, I know what bat, bat wings look like, right? So, oh my gosh, but the, so just forget that because it's beautiful ribbon, but it, when I turned it sideways, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like a bat, but beautiful black um, ribbon. And then we have um, an example, and I posted this, but it, I don't think it showed up very well. This was one of our um, projects that we made at our Friday night class, but can you see that stylish scroll embossing folder? there and then this one okay so <laughs> this kind of ignore that ribbon it kind of got like all fuzzy crazy on me but can you see like there is that embossing folder so this simple embossing folder is not just for halloween look at how beautiful it is on like a christmas santa card too i will tell you guys we made some cards this is the i think it's called night before christmas that memories and more card pack best simplest easiest way to make cards get that card pack do some layering like this and you've got beautiful cards like in seconds there's no stamping even um yeah yes oh yeah you need to oh and Susie you know what well I'm going to show that stuff in a little bit but I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a video I started thinking I'm going to make another set of the projects that we made at our inspired stampers group meeting I'm going to make it with maybe like holiday paper but I'm going to do a video um, cause, okay, I'll tell you guys, I wasn't going to say anything, but <laughs> so Tuesday night we went to do our make and takes. Let me just show them to you right now since we're talking about it, right? So, uh, yeah, I'll show you them. So our make and takes at our meeting, all of these projects were made out of one sheet of designer series paper. So this is part of product of the week, the monster bash suite. This is the designer series paper, the pretty ribbon, and then the monster bash stamp set. So we get there and I'm giving everybody their paper to like score to make the box and I realized I didn't bring my scoring tool. I didn't bring anything to score. I was really, really annoyed with myself. So I gave them all directions and then they were like, oh yeah, we're fine. We'll be able to go home and make all these and I don't know if they were going to be able to or not. So I'm going to make a video because basically out of one sheet of designer series paper, right, you can get um, that card right there too because what you do it's like a 12 by 12 piece you cut it down like two and a half inches off to make you use that big piece to make the box and then the two and a half inch strip that's left so you've got your card you've got your envelope and then we made a cute little tag too so let's see which way is that going to go can you imagine like that is one two and a half by 12 strip of designer series paper and you can make the card you can line your envelope and you can make a cute little tag so super duper simple fun easy but look at oh my gosh like what a cute little kind of gift set you can put a little fun something in the box you could either add the tag or give them the card you could make more tags and put them in the box lots of fun stuff you can put in the box so super duper cute plus it made me kind of fall in love with this designer series paper too because i I'm gonna admit to you that I was not completely sure about that paper when I first saw it. But now having played with it, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. So, okay, so why was I, oh, I was just showing you guys all that stuff because this is what we're giving away, the embossing folder and the ribbon on our next Facebook Live. So next Friday, if you put an online order in of at least $30, your name could go on the drawing to get the embossing folder and the ribbon. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, one more thing I want to show you guys. Yeah, okay. Whew, it's hard to stay organized. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Amy Jo, how are you? And thank you, Nikki. Yeah, the paper is a lot cuter. Like I said, Nikki, it took me a little while to warm up to it, but sometimes that happens. You know, not everything hits you as like, oh, that's beautiful and gorgeous, but then you kind of see other projects, you start playing with it, and like, okay. There's generally not anything I don't fall in love with. Sometimes it just takes me a little bit longer. So, okay, I have to show you guys. These were the cute little treats that I made um, for our customer appreciation event that we did um, earlier this month down at the stamp studio. And then I also decided on giving them as a club member treats too. I honestly can't remember whether I showed this on our last Facebook Live. I feel like maybe not. So I thought I'd show you now. I did a YouTube video on how to make. It's a super simple little, there's that beautiful ribbon that you're gonna get if you come to the one day retreat or do the retreat in a box. Look at, I'm trying to show you like, you can see some pretty peacock. So here, reversible. There's pretty peacock right there and there's old olive right there. But isn't that, look at how, oh, so beautiful. The ribbon is so beautiful. You need that ribbon. <laughs> Plus this is pretty darn cute, isn't it? So check out my YouTube video. 
um, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio channel on YouTube, and you can learn how to make that cute little and my favorite sentiment, hey there, pumpkin. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Like I, want, I put that on everything. Hey there, pumpkin. I think it's so, I just love it. I love it. So it was like a fun little sentiment on the stamp set. That's from Harvest Hellos too. So, okay. Um, oh, one more. I made another. Okay. So this is totally not my idea, which, you know, most of these things really are kind of versions of something else I've seen if they're not exact are pretty close to exactly what I've seen. Okay, so this card, you know, I was talking about being at Creative Convention and we had this whole display that we did. Well, my downline, Sharon, brought a card. We had like a fancy fold challenge at our last Inspired Stampers meeting back in August. And she brings this card, it is so cool. And we all fell in love with it. So then she made a holiday version of that fun flippy fold card is what I called it for our display. And then I then once she wasn't able to go to the um, creative convention with us, so I was like, you know what? I needed to have um, a demonstration, something to kind of show people how to make or do or tell them about. And I was like, I'm gonna show everybody how to make that card. Well, it's a lot easier on a video when your camera's pointing down and you can like show everything on your table than when you're standing in front of 25 people trying to explain to them how to make something. So I tried, I tried to show them, gave them measurements, had all the, everything written out. And then I was like, you know what? But I am gonna come home and make a YouTube video. So that's what we did. So here, with all that being said, this, is the card that I made the video on. And what's so fun, fun flippy fold, I call it, because it starts out tall, and then you open it, and it's like a long, wide card. Isn't that so cool? So when Sharon showed this, we're like, oh, Sharon, that's the coolest card ever. This is kind of her version, um, a little bit more like the paper that she used. The one thing I really always like to point out is, in which way can I flip it? This paper, you can see it's got the um, reindeer on it, so you have to make sure you cut it so your reindeer aren't like sideways. Do you know what I mean? So cut it, make sure you do that. And I explained that in the video too, but I like to kind of point that out um, when I'm showing you guys here. So, oops, I'm like something didn't look right. There we go. That's how it works. So isn't that so fun? Fun flippy fold card. So video is on YouTube, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel. Check it out if you wanna learn. It's really not difficult either. After I showed it like three times, we had like three different groups come through for my demonstration. I was like, yeah, I got this. So, you know, it takes a minute at first, but then you're like, it's very, very simple and easy and doable and like a huge wow factor. So check that out too, okay? All right, I think we are ready to turn the camera down. Uh, well, if I missed anything, seriously, that's, that's good, right? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's turn the camera because I have a couple more things to show you and then we're going to get started stamping because I know I'm like looking at the clock. Like I knew I had so much to share with you guys. So bear with me for a sec. We're going to fly through the air, try to get set up on what we got going here. Okay, we're going to flip. Is that the flip? There we go. Yeah, we've got that glare too, right? Funny. Let's see. Maybe this. If I move that back, does that make it a little bit better? So this is that time of year when the sun start come starts coming in kind of low, and I always get those funny glares. I'm gonna try not to drag the table around today. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let me grab. I'm gonna just put that there because uh, you might. Oops. Ooh, why did it do that? Um, it didn't flip for me. Okay. Why did it do that? When I go back up, it flipped funny. Why is it sideways, guys? It was the right way before all right, hold on. This. I turn it. Rotate your phone. Why is it telling me? Why? Isn't that funny? Because now it's like, what if I go, oh, maybe I went the wrong way. Rotate your phone. <laughs> you can't. Oh, it's like, yeah, yeah, okay. Now, whoa, that's really cool. Hey, guys, this has never happened before. Hey, Tammy, 
Rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while recording. Well, why did you turn it on me like that anyway? Hmm. So what I want to do, sorry guys. I well, I guess we're going to be sideways today. Oh, so annoying. Like it, it turned for me. There, that's going to be, oh, good Lord. This is going to be, you know, I don't adjust well to these things, right? Okay, well, I don't know why that happened because I had it. Oh, well, you guys, it's hard to explain, but something's funny, of course. Yeah, sideways. I know. Okay, you guys are all saying it was right. The <laughs> So what are you guys seeing now? Does it look good right now? Yeah, it's not sideways now, right, Nikki? But how I want to look at it is like this, and then that's going to be sideways for you guys. It's super close, too. I don't know. Something's been adjusted on my phone, I can tell. But okay. All right, well, this is what we're doing. So okay, I can see that, right? Yep. Mm. So Susie, is it good now? Hey, Sally. I know you said, Susie, it was sideways. Is it good now, guys? Hopefully. Found you, she says. Okay. All right, I'm gonna grab a sip of water. You guys tell me if we're, if we're not sideways now. Cause for me, it looks like we're not sideways, but maybe, maybe it's just showing funny. <clears throat> All right, so if we're not good, somebody let me know otherwise. Oh, you're saying Rosemary, it is sideways? So is this better? Ugh. <laughs> I'm making that ugh noise because I'm really annoyed. upside down for Nikki. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> hey Margie, how are you? We're having some technical. Okay, now you're saying it's upside down? Okay, this doesn't even make sense. Keep turning. Am I there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Or, let's see, where's the, all right, Tammy says it's good now. Okay, if you guys could understand, like this is, like I'm standing right here and the paper is pointing that way. It's completely screwed up. Okay, my hands are at the top of the screen now. Well, okay, this is gonna be weird because I'm not sure I can, yeah. Yeah, they're at the top, so that's the bottom. Okay, I don't know what happened. When I flipped it, something. Okay, well, it's totally upside down to me. So anyway, here's your host code, ladies, the NC2ZF2AJ, okay? Um, okay, let's see, let's see. What do, oh, I'm actually gonna, where did that piece of paper go? Yeah, so we've got, so you guys can read it. So the perfectly plaid, I guess it's not really that big of a deal, but it's on Thursday, September 26th, or, <laughs> hey Zara, how are you? Major technical difficulties, of course. Um, yeah, sometimes it just happens like that. Okay, so anyway, um, hopefully we are good now. I feel like maybe we are. So yeah, holiday bundle class, the first one that's coming up is the perfectly plaid holiday bundle. So I'm going to show all this upside down too <laughs> with the pine tree punch and the perfectly plaid stamp set. Okay. Um, if you cannot come to the live class, it's on Thursday, September 26th. If you want to get the to-go kit, you can do that too. Basically, the class is $48, whether you come to the class or you get it to go. It's an additional $8 for shipping um, for the to-go kit. But we're gonna make two uh, of each of these projects, and I'm gonna show you guys the cards really quick. So I guess, do I have to turn them this way also? There, now am I in view? This is the weirdest darn thing. Okay, so we're gonna make two of that card. We are gonna make two of that card. We're gonna make two of that card and we're gonna make two of that card. Sorry, what do I wanna do? 
<laughs> this is just crazy. I can't even figure out how to get it in the setting. Anyway, so two of each of those, super cool, beautiful, most of them featuring the perfectly plaid designer series paper. So if you can't make it to the live class, um, you can um, get the to-go kit version is basically what I'm saying. And I'm actually keeping the RSVP open because um, I think I had it through like Monday this week. Um, but those numbers are a little bit low too. So I thought, okay, I'm going to keep it open a little bit longer. Um, and then I will get your uh, pieces or your um, stamp set and f uh, punch ordered for you um, as soon as you let me know that you want to come. So I may not have it in time for class, but that's okay because we're going to use our or, or my stamp set and punch at class anyway. So hopefully that makes sense. But if you're interested, let me know because I'm gonna show you guys actually, these are a bunch of the projects. Let me just scoot this stuff out of the way that we made for our display. So I have to show you these cute little, these little tags and can you hear them? They're like jingle jingling. And the funniest thing was like on my drive down to Lansing. I had these already put on my little tree. So can you see the little 3D ones? Anyway, they were like all the little jingle jingle of these things were jingling all over the place. There. <laughs> yeah, so the little jingle bells, right? We're making all kinds of noise. And then this is a fun little 3D here too. So basically I punched like four of the little punches and then just um, kind of folded them in half. The thing to know is that this punch is actually not symmetrical. Why can I not? Sorry guys, I'm having the hardest time seeing. It really shouldn't be that hard, should it? To get this into view, there. Okay, so I have to be way over here. All right, now I've got it. Yeah, so anyway, this punch is not symmetrical, so when you fold them together like that, tip doesn't quite go to that one. So I tried to do it in one of the really pretty blue designer series paper, maybe even that one, but it has white on the background, so when I folded them up and they didn't meet, these little points didn't meet, there was like little white parts showing kind of on the corners. You can kind of see a little bit of that happening there. I didn't like it there. Okay, that's where I need to be, is up in that area, apparently, to show you guys these things. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of fun, right? And then here, check out, this is a beautiful card too, right? Ooh, I love. So you could make something like all of these beautiful cards with your um, new stamp set and punch, right? And then another one, I love that ribbon. That's the beautiful, that's from the 12 Christmas, but love that. And then we actually decorated a few boxes i did super simple with just the red beautiful red paper and then this one i added a little punch and some ribbon little jingle bell these are the gold mini pizza boxes and then here's another super simple one with that beautiful ribbon the gold and shaded spruce ribbon and then here how about that one isn't that beautiful with the christmas cheer and another little jingle bell i loved adding those on so anyway lots of fun stuff so sign up for the perfectly plaid stamp set or uh, um, bundle class right you can get the stamp set and the punch in class and then you can make um, all these fun projects with your stamp set and your punch you basically just need some paper i would get the ribbon too because the ribbon is fabulous okay darn i wish i could fix this because yeah okay you guys are all telling me it's good now it's just really awkward Okay, I'm gonna get over it. I know I am. <laughs> okay, one more quick thing to remind you guys about because today is the last day to choose class to go. Okay, so Harvest Hello's stamp set along with the super cute punch that is both an apple and a pumpkin punch, right? You can get these, a couple of different options. I'm not gonna go it. You can make two of each of these. Beautiful, how about that fun flip on that one right you can make this one also two of this one you can change out the sentiments if you need to if you don't need a teacher card put something else on there so two of each of those so you get eight different eight projects two of each of them uh, of those four cards all the details are on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com i've been emailing posting on facebook let me know if you have any questions i would love to get one of those to-go kits sent out to you okay i think we are ready to do our stamping I wonder if I did something funny when I flipped my phone, but that's why it's not working. Yeah, because I, uh, all right. 
It's really throwing me, ladies. Okay, so this is the card that we are going to make. I don't know why I can't figure out where the center is. I guess it's right about there, right? When I go that way. All right, there it is, right? Okay, so this is the card I'm gonna make. We actually made this card. It says, wishing you well at um, um, Simple Beautiful Card Class earlier this month. So I loved this. I loved that paper. And I loved the idea that this um, soft kind of subtle colors for fall instead of the more traditional deeper reds and oranges and greens and yellows. Um, I just thought this was such a pretty, something different and unique, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, Susie, I would be right if I was on the other side of the table, kind of. Um, but then, yeah, that other side of the table is up against the window. So that's, plus it'd be far away. Like I'd be reaching like over to the other side of the table, if that makes sense. So that's not going to help me either. Something happened on my phone and I don't know. There's probably, you know what, it's probably like the flip thing that I did or undid. So I'll figure it out, you know, of course, after we're done. <laughs> Okay, so some of this might be upside down, and I'm going to just apologize for that in advance if that's what happens. Okay, so let's see. What do you guys want to know? So I am looking at this, so you can't even... All right, I'll just tell you because this is not too difficult. This is the 8.5 by 11 cardstock that I cut in half at 5.5 inches and then scored in half at 4 and a quarter inches, Okay. Um, normally, I like to put it in the corner of the paper so I can tell you about measurements, but that's not even going to work today. So this, oh, and this was a pool party. This piece of cardstock is pool party cardstock, okay, um, for our base. Then this is soft seafoam cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then I have this piece of designer series paper that measures, <laughs> where's the center? I need like a little, it's right around in here, okay right? Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to spend all day. Anyway, okay, so this D DSP measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And you know that, right, guys? When you hear someone say DSP, it's short for designer series paper, right? Okay, um, and then everything else is just some scrap pieces to do our stamping and die cutting and so on. So I've got some white paper, some pool party, and some soft sea foam, okay? All right, We've got our Gather Together stamp set, beautiful fall stamp set, and then the coordinating, um, what are these called? I have to look at it this way, Gathered Leaves dies, right? Beautiful set of dies too. I love all the detail on those leaves there. We're gonna use a couple of those. And then we also use the stitched, stitched rectangle dies on our sentiment piece right there also, okay? All right, let's go ahead and kind of get started here. Oops, I've got some more there too. All right, we don't need these things. So we're going to do our stamping first and then we'll do our die cutting. Although, yeah, let's see. So we're going to, if we stamp our pumpkin on here, this is probably going to be, well, we'll just do the best we can. I'll try to stamp upside down when I can. How about that? So there's that. We've got our little pumpkin in our soft sea foam ink, okay? Now I am, let's see, can I do it? My pool party. I'm gonna try to stamp. I bet I can do this, right? I'm not gonna do this one upside down because that might put me over the edge. So I've got pool party ink and wishing you well, and I'm gonna stamp it right about here because I want it kind of down in the bottom right corner if that makes sense of my paper okay so now I think we can do our die cutting so I'm going to grab my die cutting machine okay and this is going to be totally wrong there's no good way. Somehow everything's just a lot closer too. You know, Facebook probably changed something again because they can't stop monkeying with things. That's kind of how I feel. Okay, so we're going to cut this one first. You guys can kind of see it, right? And I am going to use, let me make sure I have the right one. 
Nope, I think it's the next one. Nope, it's not that one either. It is, okay. So we're gonna use this one right here. And it might be sideways, guys, but I want it, for me, it needs to be down in that bottom right corner is what I'm trying to do, okay? So we're gonna cut this, okay? And then we'll do our other die cutting. Okay, so this guy, <laughs> where's the middle of the camera? Just pops right out of that framelit right there, that die, okay, with all the little stitched edging all right then we are gonna cut our pumpkin with our little pumpkin framelit okay and then i need just a little bit of cardstock here let's get these leaves okay so the big i think that is a maple leaf we're gonna use there and then this is a little bit smaller good you guys can kind of see right so we're just gonna line these things up and run these through and the leaves are so pretty because they make so much detail when you um they cut oops and they emboss so it's just beautiful okay so we've got our little pumpkin piece okay and oh yeah okay so can you see make it not upside down for you guys Ooh. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? Love. And I kind of curled them up a little bit too. Okay, and then one more, this little leaf. And he's gonna pop out. There we go, we'll turn it this way. There we go, beautiful. It's funny, because I was watching somebody else the other day that was doing a YouTube video and they were saying something about everything being upside down or having to show it. I'm like, maybe that happened and I didn't even realize it. It's possible. Okay, all right, so we're gonna scoot this stuff out of the way. Okay. Now I think we can kind of start putting things together. We don't need that, okay. So, all right, let's see. Um. <laughs> Yeah, Sally, it's not quite that easy, unfortunately. Like I was saying, I'd be, I'd have to be like kind of laying over the table in order to <laughs> reach everything. I'll figure it out. I'll play and we'll, we'll, I'll do some investigating, you know? I don't know, seems like a couple times a year this kind of thing happens. So we're just putting this together now where things just don't go quite the way. So this could be, what if I do it like that? And you guys can see, right? Some of it I can do upside down and some of it I just can't. So there, but I think you guys can see that right now. We've got that crazy glare too. All right, the stamping gods are conspiring against me, I feel like. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we got that one. Now we are going to take this piece and we are gonna tie a bow around it. Okay, and I always leave the ribbon, oops, on the bolt for that exact reason right there because when I went to make my little loop, I'm like, I do not have enough ribbon to make a loop for my bow. So I could just pull a little bit more ribbon off my bolt. Now, if you would cut a little strip, you'd be futzing forever trying to get your bow made. So this way I can kind of pull and push on it and it does loosen up when I'm doing this um, but then I can just kind of pull to tighten it back up and we are and this one does this is maybe a little bit futzier just because it's um, so silky satiny the ribbon is so it takes a sec to kind of get it where you want it and kind of tightened up there too okay so now I think we can put our adhesive and I do kind of once I have my ribbon in place Actually, nope, this is not adhesive. These are dimensionals. So we're gonna just right over where I put my adhesive, I think that's gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals. So there we go, right? Okay, so we're just gonna peel these babies off. Oops, did I get that one? This one? <laughs> Where's the center of the table? <laughs> 
So this is when I have to like go have like a glass of wine. I should have actually had a glass of wine before. I heard somebody say that they do that, that when they make videos, they have a glass of wine before they, <laughs> okay, I can't do that upside down. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it my way and then I'll turn it back your way. Um, but yeah, <laughs> there, okay. <laughs> so that's where we're at now. Now we need our little pumpkin. So we are actually gonna put a dimensional on the back of the pumpkin. And then for these guys, and since I did not bring my silicone craft sheet, I'm just gonna use this just in case I go off the edge a little bit. I use the back of my dimensionals um, so I don't get sticky all over this piece right here. Okay, so now let's see, I'm actually gonna put, and I have, sorry, I have to turn it this way so I can see it and then I'll turn it back to you guys. So we've got this one here. We are gonna kind of put, layer that one right there maybe that one right there and then okay so we're almost done you guys can all see that right um then i need i just have to put can't do it upside down brain's not gonna function like that okay so i've got oops you guys can't even where the heck okay so we're gonna put a couple of these silver because i liked the silver pearl kind of um, coordinated nicely with um the silver edge. Where did that go? It's right there. <laughs> the silver edge on the ribbon is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And maybe we'll put one there. And so these do take a sec. This is when I need to use, I always forget about the um, take your pick tool. Might have worked a little better, but let's see. Maybe we'll put, where do I want? Maybe one right there this time. Kind of have it in a little bit different there okay so now you guys can see that too hopefully it's not upside down right so beautiful right love the soft colors the soft sea foam and the pool party on there um yeah and we can kind of curl these up a little bit more to give them a little more dimension right just pop those up so isn't that beautiful and then with the silver kind of a different very different color combination right um ah uh, yes hey sandy how are you doing having technical difficulties today um with my facebook live i'm like sideways or upside down or something but you know that isn't that kind of the story of your life sometimes okay so let me scoot these little guys out of the way and we will make our next project do i have oh i do want to show you guys a couple of things because i want to point out with the so here, right? The Monster Bash Designer Series paper. Obviously, this is pretty Halloween-y looking, right? We put those there and there, right? That's all pretty Halloween-y looking, but the cool thing is some of it is kind of reversible so that you could use it kind of for a fall card. So this was a card. Um, Erica Sirwin actually was at our creative convention, uh, Pink Buckaroo, was there she designed this card and some other really cute cards but i love how she used this paper and made it more of a fall card rather than so this is the back side of one of those um monster bash designer series papers so it's not just for halloween that's what i think is kind of fun it makes it very versatile i'll show you this was another card we i cased this one straight away from mary fish i love her work. It's funny because when I very first started, she was the like the blog at Stampin' Pretty that I went to all the time to pull ideas like for card class. Um, I try not to, you know, copy quite so much, um, especially for online these days. Um, for card class, sometimes I still cheat and do that though. So I wouldn't, um, uh, well, what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, I would, I would definitely use it at card class because nobody else really cares where I found it from. I find a lot of ideas um, for card class on Pinterest and things too, but beautiful, right? With that um, stylish scrolly embossing folder too and the cute little guy. Plus the other thing you guys have to know is these framelits. So these um, ornate frames, I think they're called. I'll show you in just a sec. Not just for Halloween. Like this is, this kind of looks like a tombstone if you need it to be, um, but it doesn't have to. And this one, actually, there was another friend that shared. She is one of those super ornate um, dies on a uh, Christmas card that she made. So a lot of this, even though it's under Monster Bash Suite and you think, oh, it's just Halloween, it's really not just for Halloween. So I want to make sure to show you guys the versatility of that. And then here's a fun 
Did I? I can't remember. I might have shared these things. I can't remember what I even posted this week because, you know, that was way back on Monday when I scheduled all those posts for the week. So, but this is pretty, the Monster Bash Designer Series paper. Ooh, love the holiday rhinestones too. We used a bunch of those on our projects. Lots of really pretty colors that you can kind of bend the color of it, coordinate to whatever you need it to coordinate with. So, okay, we'll scoot this stuff out of the way. All right. Oh, the other thing I have to show. Okay. I'm just going to show you guys this card because I love it so much. Okay. Here, I got too much stuff here um, and that's going to be upside down. So we're going to do this. Okay. So this is the card that I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Check out, maybe I'll put it down here. I'm trying to be too close. Maybe that's my problem too. That's like the center right there. I'm still, I'm going to keep trying to find it, but I have to, I have to like come up a little bit closer. You can see, so you can see this is our black foil paper that I have embossed which that with that stylish scrolls embossing folder. Isn't that so like, woo! look at all that shimmeriness there. I love, 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 love that. So, okay. I'm going to show you guys how I made this card too. All right, uh, let's put that right there. I'll just show you some of the elements too. So these are the fun, what are these called? Monster Bash enamel shapes. You can see there's some in gray and black and then um, what are those? Crows, skulls, and then tombstones. So fun little pack of embellishments there. I'm gonna put that guy right there. I did use a little bit of the glitter. I just cut off, I cut off too much for my card for this one. So I'm just got this teeny tiny little strip. This is that black glitter organdy ribbon that was last year's Halloween ribbon. And what else? Oh, check out the Spooktacular Bash stamp set too, right? Awesome, super cute, open if you dare. I think that's really fun. That's the little guy that we used on that um, card that we made at class. We are using this time, I love this. It says, so glad we're such ghoul friends. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I thought that was a really fun sentiment too. So great stamp set. And then where are those dies? Right here, okay. So these are the ornate frames dies. So you can see that's the one with all of the detail that we used on the other card. Um, and then this one we used also. But look at all of these kind of labely looking things. They're just beautiful. They've got, some of them have some details, some of them have some stitching, some of them are just real cute, but they're all super versatile, definitely. I think if you don't get anything else in the suite, get these ornate frames dies. Pretty sure that's what they're called. Yep, ornate frames dies. Okay, so these are the two that we need. So we're gonna take these guys out. So these are, oops, there we go. Those are the two dies that we need for our card. Okay, so we've got some, uh, let me just grab everything else we need. We will kind of get to it here. Okay. So thanks for bearing with me today, guys. Hopefully it's not too bad that you can kind of see what's going on here, right? These little, the one thing though that's funny is these little black pieces, you find them all over. I'm still, they're like popping out, but that's okay. All right, so for this card, I actually use, this is Crush Curry cardstock. So, let's see if I can get it in here, right? Again, you guys get the idea since I can't show it quite as well, but we've got our eight and a half by 11 cardstock. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches, the very traditional fold on our card there, okay? Let's put that one right there, okay. And then we have a piece of, this is Whisper White cardstock that measures, this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then our black foil, you can see, woo, check that out, huh? This one is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's three and three quarters this way by five inches this way, okay? And then my piece of designer series paper, which way is the right way? <laughs> that measures two inches by four inches. We may as well just punch that and get that done right now. Just gonna do that one there, okay? Ooh, the ornate tag topper punch too. Love this punch. You can see kind of the detail on that there also. I love the paper, I love the punch. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, so um, we do have to do, let's do, Mm -hmm. Got some white. Just my white card stuff. Grab that too. Okay, so I'm gonna do my stamping. 
So glad we're such ghoul friends. <laughs> I love that sentiment. Okay, I've got my black memento ink. And I think this, was this the one? One of them I kept stamping upside down. Nope, it was another one. Although it looks upside down to you guys, right? Or sideways or something. Okay, so we've got that stamp. We've got our black that we're going to do our die cutting. And then we need to do our embossing with this one. Okay, so let's do our die cutting first since our big shot is set up for that. Okay. All right, so you see the start, but you guys, most everybody knows how to do the die cutting. If you don't, let me know, but we've got our kind of simple label framelit there and then the very ornate detailed die there. Okay, and I am gonna run this back and forth a couple of times because all of that detail, I'm sorry, I know it's probably shaking, so turn your heads away for a sec if you're getting like seasick. Okay, one more crank and we'll call this good. But all of that detail, you wanna make sure it cuts well. But isn't that, look at, oh, there we go. Now you guys can see, right? Beautiful, right? Love that, okay? And then this little baby. Okay, so this, look at all of this detail, right? <laughs> and then let's see what comes out here. We might have a couple we need to run. I did bring my, that looks pretty good though, doesn't it? I've got my little paper piercing tool here. I think I just need a couple little guys. Get that one. It's funny because um, I kind of put this over some of the black. So can you guys see that? I go that way. <laughs> I don't know what the best way is, but it's beautiful, isn't it? All right, so we've got, we need to get rid of these things, okay? I need to grab the other platform and we are gonna do our embossing. So check out the black foil and what happens when you emboss it. With that hiding right here we go. We need one clear pad underneath. Okay, so we've got our, ooh, isn't that beautiful? The ornate frame, or what is it called? The stylish scroll embossing folder, okay? So you do wanna get this lined up straight. I was just gonna slap it in there and I was like, okay, slow down, Amy. You wanna get this set up properly. Okay, so we're gonna crank this through. And I will have all of the details um, with all of the measurements and the item codes for everything that we use so that when you are ready to order and make these things too, it's simple, easy for you to grab that information and do that. There's a link right on my, my blog at gatheringinspiration.com to shop. The host code is right there. So it's like a no brainer. You are all set to just Look at, oh my gosh, <laughs> isn't that the coolest? And it's beautiful, right, with like on the blue here also, isn't that? Get that in the right place, right? It's so you can have it subtle or you can have it like super like snazzy fancy. Now we want to put a bunch of adhesive on this piece. And this just little white peeks out from around the corners there. We are gonna put some more adhesive on this piece and it's pretty thick. That black foil paper is pretty thick and sturdy. We're gonna layer this guy right on here. So glad we're such a ghoul friends. I think that's so cute. Okay, mm, let's see. We are, so let me tell you ladies, I tried to like loop this through and make a fun um, mm, kind of tie here and I ripped that little bit there so I was yanking on it too much so then I was like okay that's not gonna work because this paper or this ribbon is pretty stiff and you know this designer series paper is not too you know it's a little on the thin side not as thick as our cardstock okay so what I did was I kind of just looped that through and then I tied a little bow with my baker's twine okay <laughs> Let's see, what do we have? Yes, 
Lots of good stuff. You just ordered that. Oh, yay, should be here today, Susie. That's awesome. Okay, this may be completely upside down, but somebody said they just turned their iPad when this happens. <laughs> yeah, I remember. It wasn't too long ago that this, I don't know, there was some other trouble, right? Okay, so we're making our bow. All right, I'm gonna just cut that and then I'll kind of pull it down how I want it. Okay, that's good there, right? What if I do that way now? That's the way you guys wanna see it? Okay, let's put, oh, actually, ooh, little strip of our ribbon, 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 ribbon right here. So can you guys see the scallop edged detail? on that ribbon, isn't that fun? We are just gonna cut a little teeny tiny strip here and just kinda tack it around the back. That's all we did there. Okay, and there is kind of a right side and a wrong side, I believe. One side has a little bit more stitching, so I kinda like the side that to me looks like it has a little more texture. Okay, so we are gonna do this. We're gonna run some adhesive on both of those, and then we're gonna tack this down. And then I actually popped this up on dimensionals. So that was kind of twofold, right? Then I can stick a dimensional kind of over top of my ribbon and make sure that I'm holding it all in place, the ribbon and then popping it up all at once, right? Okay, so I think we can put these guys on there. So you see, this is, um, got some detail to it but it's really not a difficult card to make which is definitely my style right where um cute details but not super complicated okay so now you guys can see it right like that right now we are just going to put some adhesive i'm going to put a good amount and that is just going to fit kind of centered right on there okay and then we're going to add a couple of dimensionals behind our so glad we're such ghoul friends. I feel like, what, who am I talking, like the Munsters or something? <laughs> All right, we're going to not do that. So hopefully it's right side up for you guys because it's completely upside down to me. Okay, there's that. And then now we have to use a couple of these little, the Monster Bash um little dots and I liked the gray ones I thought the gray kind of stood out a little bit better than the the black where it was too like kind of monochromatic so I used the gray and again I have to flip that around so I can see otherwise they'd be I don't know they'd be wrong on the wrong side somewhere so there we go isn't that awesome like look at woo I love that embossing folder. It's beautiful. And we will definitely be using that for holiday cards as well. So, okay. Quick recap, especially if you're new to Facebook Live. Make sure when you're ready to order uh, products to make these beautiful cards, right? Where can I put these, right? Order stuff to make these cards, right? Make sure you use the host code, the NC2ZF2AJ, right? You always get these projects that I demonstrated on Facebook Live. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the embossing folder. Everything is all over the place. And the black ribbon that we used right here on this card, right? And then if you bump your order up to $50, you're gonna get those rhinestones that are completely buried on my table. So anyway, I apologize. I'm just so sorry that you know, stuff happens <laughs> every once in a while. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I was so glad to be back. Um, we will get the technical di difficulties worked out and we will see everybody next Friday. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.